Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go over a few mods that we've done to this Tormak lathe. Just got the coolant lines all in. World of a difference. One of the first mods we're going to go over is splitting the coolant line, coolant flow from the turret to the gang tool setup. As you can see I got two individual lines. What I did was I upgraded the pump in that my Tormach mill. So I had it kicking around. And added it to here. Just drilled a three and a half inch hole with a hole saw and four individual holes to screw the pump in. As you can see here in these few pictures shown, Now the choose in be between turret and the gang tool setup coolant. I did a very similar modification to my Tormach between my mist and my flood coolant. From the coolant plug, I ran to the switch. And from the switch, I ran two wires to the back of the machine and added two plugs to the end of those wires. Then plugged one pump into each wire. So now, when it calls for coolant, you have the option between turret or flood for the gang tool setup. Which I'll show you right now. We'll do turret. Turns off. Now we'll do this way you don't have to go in and turn it on and off through a lever here. Especially if the machine's running an operation where it switches back and forth. You don't want to have to stop the operation to turn it on, turn it off. All I did was use the slot that the USB port came in. Installed it here, drilled a one inch hole above it, and two eighth inch holes on the side, and just relocated the USB above it. great use of a motor that I had just kicking around. Another option you could do if you didn't have the turret is so just get a little faucet head another line. It comes with a little mount that I'm going to mount on the side here. So this way you can wash down the machine get all the chips down get it all cleaned up 
think maybe that was 20 bucks. Now this machine doesn't come with any lighting. And I've seen a few videos on this, but it's been a challenge or guys been wondering what kind of lighting they're gonna run. I found these at my local Home Depot. Grow light bulbs. They come pre-wired. And they come with these housings, plastic covers. They're basically daylight bulbs. So any coolant that gets shot up, it's not hitting a warm bulb and cracking them. You guys can see that. Now this one here, I didn't want to drill any holes in this. You know, mount screws. So what I did was use self-adhesive magnetic strips on the back side of the light so I could position anywhere I wanted. It really illuminates the machine. And I just wired them up to a switch. I've had them for a few weeks now. I've had no issues. Just a wireless switch. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.